Hi, this is Edward Nowatka, Editor-in-Chief of PublishingPerspectives.com. I'm here in Austin, Texas with Bob Carlton, the Vice President of Business Development, Development and Marketing for Libra Digital, which is one of the companies that took the stage this week at the launch of the Barnes & Noble Nook Reader. And um, Bob, would you tell us a little bit about Libra Digital's role in this launch? Yeah. Uh, Libra Digital is lucky enough to work with some of the leading uh, print publishers uh, and as they looked to provide their newspapers and magazines for the Nook, they wanted to make sure that the investment they had made in the page layout and in the look and feel of their content migrated to a digital format. They also wanted a single provider to work with Barnes & Noble to make sure that that content was consistent across a variety of different publications. We worked hand in hand with Barnes & Noble to make sure that uh, the New York Times, as an example, looked the way a reader of the New York Times would expect it to look like on the Nook device. Um, so that was both a process of what we call content optimization, mm -hmm. working with the publisher and with Barnes & Noble, as well as our own internal publishing process so that when we receive the either daily, weekly, or monthly files from that newspaper or magazine publisher, we're able to quickly translate them and deliver them in the kind of timely format that Barnes & Noble and their readers are expecting. So you have people in-house here in Austin, Texas, working in that each and every day, because the New York Times comes every each Yes, day. we receive here in, in Austin uh, every night, typically between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning, newspapers from over uh, newspapers and magazines from over 100 different publishers globally. Mm -hmm. uh, we have automated process to be able to take in that content, block it, confirm that it looks the way that the publisher intended it to look, and then we distribute it out either to web subscriptions or to devices or reading systems that that publisher has built relationships with. Now, your company has been in existence for 10 years. We have, indeed. Okay. And um, the trend, there was a transition about four years ago in the outlook yes. of the company. Could you talk me through that a little bit? Yes. Uh, the company started um, working um, exclusively with newspapers and publishers and uh, had a business called Newsstand, which still exists. But the business strategy for the first six years of the company mm -hmm. was really to focus on distributing and selling directly to newspaper or magazine subscribers. Okay. We found about four years ago that as that part of the business began to mature, companies like Barnes & Noble or the New York Times had a much more prevalent focus among readers. When you looked at who am I going to buy this ebook from or this digital newspaper or magazine, the actual publisher themselves or the retailer mm -hmm. was probably the first place you'd experience it right. or expect it. And so the business over the last four years has really changed its focus from uh, distributing directly to consumers to helping publishers distribute directly to consumers. So we provide tools and services that enable publishers to go directly to their consumers okay. rather than us doing that direct marketing ourselves. Can you give me an example of a publisher or two that you're working with? Sure. Um, we're really lucky to um, be a publishing partner with the New York Times. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever they want their content to be on any device or reading system, mm -hmm. they always have that company work with us. We take their files, as I mentioned, on a nightly feed and then convert it to a yep. variety of different formats. We're also lucky to um, also work on the book side with John Wiley and Sons. Mm -hmm. Um, a really strong trade, professional, and academic publisher. Yep. In any given month, they, they distribute thousands of files through our system to over 20 different marketplaces, reading devices, and reading systems. Fantastic. Uh, and so those are two good examples of uh, very different publishers yep. who work with us in very different ways. Do you see form becoming a little bit agnostic? I mean, certainly book, form, book content and newspaper content, magazine content, ultimately a lot of people want to distill it down to the word content. What is your perception of that? We, we think it's a both and. So we think uh, buyers, consumers, readers mm -hmm. are going to assume that their relationship with content that they've either subscribed to or bought is above the level of a device. Okay. On the other hand, we think that um, publishers and readers are going to expect content to take advantage of the power of technology. As an example, we think publishers are going to place more and more investment on allowing um, readers to mash up content, to include video, audio, or external links to the content 
we think it, we're at the really early stages of what an ebook will look like or a digital newspaper will look like. A bit like. like Jane Friedman's announcement about Open Road Media. Yes. Where yes. she's talking about a cross platform convergence of. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, buzzwords thrown around transmedia yeah. or hybrid content. We simplify it down to we think publishers have always done a phenomenal job of curating mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. and then deciding what kind of medium makes the most sense. Yes. And we think the next 18 to 36 months will give them even more opportunity mm -hmm. to publish in innovative and exciting ways. What's going to happen in 18 to 36 months? Oh, we think uh, uh, several things. First off, a lot of new devices coming out. Okay. Uh, second, publishers looking at digital from the beginning in their publishing program, yep. rather than simply looking at how do we syndicate this print title into yep. digital. And then finally, uh, we're seeing readers, human beings who read, um, making their expectations more and more known. I want content, I want it to be quick and compelling, and I want multimedia in a way that I've come to expect on an HTML page. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Bob. If somebody's interested in your uh, in Libra Digital, where can they find information? We just about encourage you? you to visit LibraDigital.com. We're on the web as well as being on Twitter and LinkedIn. L-I-B-R-E-D-I-G-I-T-A-L. You've got it. Thank you very much.